This PC has three power supplies, and today we're going to be having a look at it. In here, it has a Ryzen 5 1600, it has a Vega 64 graphics card, and an internet card from a iMac. So, this power supply here is a 100 watt power supply, which is powering the CPU with a, a 4 pin connector, and it's also connected to the graphics card. It was only a 3 pin, so I DIY'd this 4 pin, which I got off another power supply. These two are basically ground connectors, and it won't turn on without them. So, this is a 100 watt power supply. This is a 300 watt power supply, well, 400 watt, technically. And this one is also a 400 watt power supply, I think. This one's from the £5 PC that I made a video on ages ago. This one I got on eBay, but it was damaged, so they got it for free. And this one is, I just had it laying around. And if you're wondering how I daisy chained them all together, like this, when, when this is turned on, this powers these two. And when you press that, it powers that one. Basically, this is positive and negative, and I connected it to this. When you turn that on, these two turn on, and then um, these two power supplies turn on. So let's shove some power to it, and I'll show you how it works. Now I'll show you how this works. So, oh, all right, well, it was already on. So this thing, which I basically dug a hole in, and I had to bend the metal back, so we can fit that in there. When this is turned on, you can see power supply spins, and this one also spins. So these two are powered at the moment, and then when you press this, the whole thing gets powered. There we go. All right, we've posted. We got 16 gigabytes of RAM in here. If we turn this off, the computer turns off. But the graphics card and the stuff that's powering this power supply is still on. So we sort of have to... Hang on. Is it going to turn off? All right, so it's off. If we don't turn this on, we just turn this one on. It'll try and spin, but nothing will post because there's no power going to this or, well, up there. But then when we turn this on, that's when these power supplies kick in. And, all right, so let, let's see what we got. So we got Windows 10. We've got, as I said, a Ryzen 5 1600, just a 1600 that I got on Facebook Marketplace two years ago for about 50 quid, I think. 16 gigs of RAM and also Asus. All right, well, it's a Vega 64, but I, I didn't know what brand it was, so... So we're going to start with a CPU benchmark, which, I mean, I hardly doubt it's going to... Well, I mean, the score will be all right, because it's a Ryzen 5... 6. And then we'll move on to the GPU benchmark. All right, people, so it has a single core score of 165, and that is multi-core score. I mean, I... I think my 2015 MacBook has better score than that, but anyways, you know, it's, 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 it's not about the CPU, it's about the GPU. Let's see what it can score. Alright, that was quick, it has that as a score. I mean, is it good? Bad? I don't know. But let's see what it scores in this one. Alright, so this is the score on whatever we just did there. Um, is it good? I have no idea. But the main reason why I have this thing, it's because... Hang on, let it load. It's for BeamNG Drive! Basically, I have this racing sim here, but it's at, at the opposite side of where my PC is. So, I shove that one there, shove the free power supplies in, and run it on this thing. I mean, I haven't used it in about six months. So, let's see if it loads. Playing BeamNG Drive, it's running quite well. Alright, so, as you can see, it's running quite smoothly oh hello oh all right well we've crashed a bit uh, it just needs speakers oh also i don't know if i mentioned this but the reason why it needs three power supplies it is because the gpu takes 350 watts just by itself and tried it with the power supply that was in there it, it just kept on shutting down when i was playing this thing so i put the other power supply in from the uh, five pound computer and it kept on doing the same thing so i found another 100 watt power supply and with all three together i mean it's 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 running all right. All right, we've we've um, nope nope we've we've spun out. I don't know why BeamNG Drive programs it into the arrow keys. I mean, it's, WASD is a lot better. But all right, well we almost crashed, but we did not. Uh, how good's this thing at braking? Okay, well I mean braking the car, it's quite good. So yeah, that's that's basically this computer. Please subscribe. I'm literally four subscribers away off from 900 subs. We'll see you next week. Uh, what do we transition into? Pause. Transition.